now good morning all of you now i am going to start the chapter anatomy and physiology first of all i want to say you about the anatomy and physiology that our body our body consists of functioning of various systems so by means of this is function of this systems our body make a strong and efficient so the various systems when combine to each other and form organizing so we can say now i want to draw your attention on organism we can see about the organism organism has four components that will be cell tissue organs and systems so i want to explain about the cells we can say about the cell cell is a smallest part a smallest unit of the body and it is capable to act to independent existence we can say in another word that cells is the basic unit of human living now we will see about the tissue so we can say about the tissue tissue is a collection of many cells when many cells combine to each other and make a tissue after that organs when the tissue different type of tissue combine to each other and makes organs and that organs do the essential work of the body now third components that will be organs organs is a combined of tissue next system now different type of organs when combine to each other and make a system and that system do the capable work that system is already capable to the, do the essential work of the body and when the different type of system combine to each other and make a organism so this one is the organism so we can say at last about the anatomy and physiology anatomy and physiology deals the structure and function of the body and it differentiate and it defines the from other systems and parts of the body have you clear my children now homework first what do you mean by organism second define cells tissue systems and organs and third what do you mean by anatomy and physiology so i will give you a my assignment for session 1 which you will download from google classroom thank you and have a nice day